Hi guys, Nick here from Intuitive Tennis. Today I want to show you how to hit a flat forehand. So I'm sure you heard many TV commentators or even teaching pros say uh, that you must hit through the ball and uh, basically your hand and body go uh, towards the direction of the ball in order to achieve a flat shot. Well, that is incorrect. And I'm going to show you that you must hit across the body even on flat forehands. So let's break down the flat forehand. So what is the flattest forehand you can imagine? Well, it's basically a feed. Uh, how a teaching pro would feed a ball out of a basket or how you might uh, take the ball and start a rally with it. And let's take a look in slow motion to see what exactly happens uh, to the hand and the racket when we feed a ball to the other side. So we can see that on the feed, my hand uh, didn't ge indeed go across the body like this. Uh, and not what is commonly believed, uh, that the hand goes towards the direction of the target like this. It goes across and the tip of the racket goes forward. And that is exactly how uh, some of the players back in the day, uh, still in the wooden racket era, used to play. Uh, Jimmy Connors, John McEnroe, Chris Everett, Martina Navratilova, uh, they used to hit the forehand exactly like that. They didn't have a, a big loopy backswing. They would take the racket straight back like this, and then they would hit the ball uh, not as far in front as the players do today, but then at contact they would still hit across like this, something like this. So what is the main reason for hitting across, even on flat shots? Well, the simple reason is that we have more power and more strength when we pull uh, the hand across the body like this. And just imagine yourself uh, getting mad on the court and taking the ball and ripping it straight into the back fence. Uh, well, that's what I'm going to do next. I want you to take a look at the slow motion uh, when I simply take a ball and hit it as hard as I can uh, straight for the back fence. So you can see in the slow-mo footage uh, indeed that I hit a cross even on the rip. And that's something that's completely intuitive. Nobody practices these type of shots. Uh, this is a completely natural shot. And, and we have this intuition uh, to always want to have the racket and the hand go across the body uh, for maximum power. So let's talk about the modern flat forehand, the way the players hit it nowadays. Basically, uh, the forehand is going to look very similar to the topspin modern forehand. And the one detail that's going to be different is the contact point. So on a flat forehand, the tip of the racket will go towards the target like this, but you see my hand is going across just like it did on the feed and on the rip into the fence. It's the same mechanics. And for more power, I'm going to put the hand across the body, but I'm not going to allow my racket uh, to go up like it would on a Thompson forehand. I'm simply going to go up and across, uh, but the tip of my racket is going to go forward and then back. This doesn't have to be wristy either. The wrist is kind of passive in a flat forehand. And you can see that simply I'm pulling my hand across without really using my wrist. What you shouldn't do is use your wrist at contact like this because the ball would come off the racket way too fast and you would lose control over the ball. So this is very much a hot topic in tennis, very controversial issue. Uh, as I said in the beginning, many TV commentators claim uh, they must hit forward uh, through the ball uh, on flat shots. Uh, many teaching pros still today teach this. And one of the reasons might be that when we view players, it's often from the side view. And from the side view, it's kind of difficult to tell uh, where the hand is going. And uh, so from here, if I hit the cross uh, like this, uh, you can maybe see that it looks like the racket is going forward like this, but you'd have no uh, way of telling where my hand is going. Uh, that's why this view here is superior. In the front view or the back view, where you can clearly see uh, that when my racket goes uh, through like this, my hand is indeed uh, going across the body uh, to make that happen. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.